The beginning of it was my project, which was the skyscraper Palm uh, in 2013 and skyscraper Tetris in 2014. One of my passions still is outreach, trying to get more women and more underrepresented minorities into gaming and the game industry. The more diverse voices there are within the game industry, the more interesting diverse games we'll have. So I wanted to use this opportunity to try to get more kids programming by making games for the skyscraper. And in late 2016, um, I received funding from Intel to pursue this idea further. So we began to bring together the middle school teachers from the area and teach them through a, throughout a semester um, how to use the tools that we made to make games on the skyscraper. And in the following the spring term, they went and they worked with their students and taught their students how to use those tools and those students made games. Wow, having your students work on a skyscraper in the city it just sounded so intriguing. I wanted to do this kind of project because uh, this is an underserved community and I wanted to give kids an opportunity to go into technology and learn about the field and perhaps make a career out of it. So this was an opportunity to introduce coding uh, to a class, a school that never had it. One of the unique things about this project is that like they're using Python, which is a official programming language that people use like in the workplace. And a lot of coding initiatives for kids will use um, sort of coding apps that were developed specifically for education. So the, the challenges that I faced while introducing this project was definitely going from the block-based environment to a more text-based environment. You really have to change the way that the students approach a problem. Normally they were doing it physically, whereas when you code with Python, um, it's more, you know, it's, it's a little bit more abstract. Block coding in terms of an English paper would be like someone giving you a mold for the sentence, like if someone's saying, oh, for your thesis, right, I think this character blank. So in line coding, they're not giving you what's around the blank. The whole thing is a blank. So you have to come up with this with the line and the variables that go in. I've never learned coding before. This was my, it was my first time. Um, in coding, it's really easy to make an error. It's very difficult if you have one thing typed slightly wrong, the game won't run at all. Like, building a game is not really easy because you gotta really use your imagination. Creativity is the hardest part. It took two or three months to figure out the game and complete it, fix all the bugs. Some of the coding was really hard, like making the borders was really hard because the code that we had didn't work and so we had to make it on our own. There's this idea of computational thinking, which is basically a way of approaching problems um, to make them easier to solve and to generate solutions that can be implemented again and again. Oh, I think with coding, it's the ultimate opportunity to introduce failure to students. A lot of us say that programming really is just the act of debugging constantly. So sort of giving them the green light to not know the answers and then to understand that actually that's part of what programming is, is not knowing answers and trying to find them. And for those of us who love solving problems, it's sort of the joy of programming. The satisfaction of completing a challenge is worth going and experiencing challenges. I think if you accomplish uh, your task and complete your challenge, it's an amazing feeling. Um, we've put so much time and effort into this game, so I feel like it's going to really pay off when we see it on the skyscraper because the whole of Philadelphia will be able to see what we have done. I, I'm excited to see the game. So it would actually be my first time playing the finished version of it, so I think it'll be really cool having it actually up on the skyscraper and like everyone else to see. It could also get other people into coding as well, because as you know, it's a huge skyscraper. People would say, wow, oh my god, it's a game up there. And then come to see these middle schoolers all like coding on it and stuff like that. They might be uh, inspired to actually start coding. <laughs>